Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. Sisters and brothers, let us prepare our hearts and our minds to enter into God's most sacred and holy mystery. Lord Jesus, you came to heal all who are broken. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to be the light of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth, when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband, and never again my Baal. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did the disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched him, touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, courage, daughter, 
Your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, go away. The girl was not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand and the little girl arose. And the news of this spread throughout all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I hope everyone had a good and safe weekend. We continue our readings um, that become a beautiful story, really, if we connect everything that we're reading during the week, through the weekend, into this next week, the 14th week in Ordinary Time. Today's gospel, I think we've all heard many times as we hear most of these gospels, but if we kind of look at yesterday's reading and then today and really pay attention to maybe something we haven't quite heard before or put together with the other stories in the gospel. Today's reading, Jairus, this official, comes to our Lord asking to heal his daughter, that his daughter needed help. And there was another woman here too that wanted to touch Jesus and be healed of her own afflictions. Now some scholars say that this woman represented the 12 tribes of Israel and that by Jesus and an official from uh, coming to Jesus would be the beginning of restoration if all those would come to Jesus and believe in him. But of course we know that wasn't the story. We go on into this official and Jesus ultimately comes across this crowd who were professional mourners and he just tells them, get away, stop, stop this Stop this morning. This isn't the end. This is not the end. This father came to me and I have told everyone in my teachings that those who come to me will have everlasting life. I am the bread of life. But what's so beautiful about this part is if you notice, yes, it is Jesus' first resurrection of three, but Jesus had previously called his disciples. And Jesus always says, come, follow me, come. We heard that yesterday when he said, come to me all that you are labored and burdened. But in this gospel today, Jesus arose and followed the man that asked for help and healing. Jesus followed him. And Jesus is also by our sides every day. We may not recognize that, but he too seeks us as much as we seek him. And he ran to the race. And ultimately, as in every healing or resurrection, it points to the end of our own lives. That when we're finished running the race and Jesus is beside us, He'll be there with us, and there is no death. There's only resurrection. Jesus is by our sides, and I think we need to comfort him as much as he comforts us and say to him daily, thank you for walking with me in this journey called life. I will follow you just as I know you are following me, Lord. Let us give thanks to that today, the great miracle that when we do finish this race called life, Jesus will be there and we will have everlasting life besides our Savior, Jesus Christ.
My sisters and brothers, let us now bring our prayers before the Lord. For our church leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide their work and give them the strength to govern wisely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations throughout the world, may the Lord deliver them from the evils of war and oppression. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families torn by division, may God grant them a spirit of reconciliation and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this holy place, May the word and sacrament we receive nourish and sustain us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in God's embrace. Especially Father Michael Carroll, from this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear the needs of your people we have just offered and answer them in your mercy. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray now, my sisters, my brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness he created man and when he justly condemned in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hope. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar manner, when supper had ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith, save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all who serve you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your glorious faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Julie, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us pray in the words that our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. peace. Oh, Barry, I just get to you. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. And only pray the way. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the price of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.